Hi everyone, in this video I'm just going to explain about this get the CSS property value, the cascade style sheet. So how I'm going to get this because when you when you are the when the applications, I mean web applications under test, I mean you may have variety of scenarios. Even uh, uh, the development team will change this uh, CSS property value such as I just show you now how for example if you see this they may change this fonts I mean uh, font frame Arial to some of the type so here is the I'm just inspecting this element you can see this in style sheet now I'm going to show this one of the, the font family is elevated you can see how this all the font size it shows here now and then see uh, even uh, you can get this font family of some other thing so also you can get all those informations so here in the sheet they have used only font family for CSS so what I'm going to just show you now is here I'm going to first get the element right so I need to create the web element uh, variable so get CSS value I'm just naming it so here I'm just assigning this using this uh, equal to operator driver chart get sorry find element by what we can use here I am going to use this name this name I'm going to use as a reference I mean uh, to find the web element my name is uh, web submit right so that's it then I'm going to print this here get CSS value oh, I'm sorry then because I shouldn't use this right uh, string for double quotes okay get CSS value chart you can see all the list right G get CSS value we can get it here simple CSS value of what I need Exactly, is a font family value. So I'm just going to I mean, it's returning the value, string value of uh, the attribute. So font family, and we can go double quotes. So family, and end. Let me call. I'm just going to bring this now. Control F11. See this now. See this, it went to Facebook uh, and then it should print uh, the right steps. Yes, it, see, it's printed all the elements which is uh, for this fan family. Here you can see this Helvetica area, Sharif. So I'll tap. Uh, I'm sorry, here. Elvetica Arial Sans Serif, everything it shown, even the I mean the font is bold, everything it has shown. So this is the way you can uh, verify your CSS property values once the development team has implemented a new whether whether the new code you can verify in the same way. That's it. Uh, this video will be very helpful. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please provide your comments and feedbacks in my video forms. Thank you. Bye.